The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour on this Wednesday, Wednesday the 2nd of February, well, well into the year 2022. I don't know if any of you remember, but last year I was saying the end of 2021 going to 2022, I would not be surprised as part of this whole mega bull phase we start to see stock splits. I have never, in all the years that I've been uh, monitoring the market or trading the market or being involved in the market, seen this number of stocks in the thousands, 3,000, 4,000, without the, um, the, the, the push towards splitting, that it's just an inevitability. It's just part of the process where there's absolutely no difference between trading a $3,400 stock and a $34 stock. You just buy whatever you can afford. That's all there is to it. But there's a psychological difference. And what I've done for, oh, I wonder if I can find it right now, Apple. Let's see, is it Apple? Yeah, look, I've still got the notation in the chapter. Where every, single, every single bit of notation you ever see on my charts is now leg C in Apple in the daily is is my notation. It's not done automatically. Uh, Steve Rhodes has done a real nice job of, of getting the core of the Chapman wave, but the subtleties is really what I've spent time on. I haven't really taken any time programming for, for a long time. I, I might get into it very soon. I'm just trying to figure out a program that will help me do it. I think TradeStation is a little too complex. Um, I mean, all these years I could have done it. I could have been an expert, probably. Um, but anyway, what I was saying is that the notation, you see this 142 round number low? Well, that corresponds to pre-split for Apple back in January of 2019. I've got it at 3550. Well, 142 was a round number low. And I always, I, not always, but I try to keep at least one of the charts, the daily or weekly, usually it's the monthly, with all the notation from there. Look, I've got the whole thing here. I had this, you see this arch formation going from a lowercase h? I, mean, I haven't done this for a long time. In the chapter wave methodology, I look at basically three patterns. Within that, there's a whole smorgasbord of other things that I look at. But basically what we're looking at is markets go either straight up or straight down or a cup formation or an arch formation. The cup formation could be a V, but it's the same thing. You're going from one point down back to that point. What happens at that left side high is really important. And on the way down, you can get an arch formation. That says what happens on the left side low after the rally is really important. You can get a combination of one and two and one and three. He has one and three straight down, arch formation. You take out the left side low, it can go a lot lower. We've seen, look right here on the Apple chart, there's a perfect dreaded H. We call them the dreaded H in red because if you take out the left side low, you can have even a one to one or more of an entire leg down or the cup formation arch from the high to the low. Well, what's really important here is that not only have we got a pattern called the falling X formation, after that dreaded H failure pattern in Apple. But now we've got a straight line move to the upside. So that means we might be having uh, this formation where there's a much bigger arch and it starts to come down again. Or, and this is really important, or there's something else happening. And it is the Chapman falling X formation it just looks like a handle and the blade of the axe with the lower highs and much lower lows, or an expanding expanding cone formation. Uh, maybe too much word, too many words. And then it forms a base, and then it breaks out. And what happens is it goes above the declining trend line and goes one-to-one -one in the same number of bars, the same angle, same degree of acceleration. 
to test the left side high or important left side highs. In this case, the left side high in Apple will be right here at about it's a little slow, 177.18. We're at 175.32 right now, up 67 cents. Fantastic earnings. So this falling X breakout formation says there could be a one-to-one -to, -one to the upside, goes a little bit higher to about the 177. It could test that left side high. A break above it says now you're looking at a V-shaped pattern. What is the V-shaped pattern? Why? <laughs> it's this one here. It is the cup that is not just a cup, but it's actually more like a straight line down. There it is. And a straight line up. So these are the patterns we look at. But what I was saying is the notation, the reason why I, I'm, I'm absolutely fascinated because it's exactly what I wanted to talk about. I had a lot of questions coming in. Um, <coughs> excuse me. What is this H to uh, M pattern that you're talking about in the in the Dow as a potential? Had a statement is not really a question. Uh, it's more a statement. Hi, hey, Basil. Are you still considering this only a bounce? What what would make you consider this is a recovery to new highs rather than a bounce? This is always the exact time where the men separate from the boys in the world of technical analysis. Okay, so um, let me just do this. Um, I, I disagree with that statement completely because there is a process that goes on. There's no one, you, you couldn't find anyone who isn't trying to do an, an analysis and guessing together with the analysis whether or not we're done going down and then we're going to do a retest. So this lowercase h, you see what happens? You've got the h, it's like this pattern right here. And then it forms another arch formation. And that becomes a lowercase h going to a lowercase m. What happens each time if it takes out or doesn't take out that left side low is really important. And this is what I'm saying. Now, let's separate the men from the boys. All right, let's just do this. I'm saying that in 2021, based on my analysis of the S&P, forget Apple for a moment, Based on my analysis of the S&P, we should make higher highs. So I don't care whether it's separating anything. What I am saying is that I've got this as a leg B. I'm suspecting that in February, we don't make a new high all of February of 48.18.62. But we can rally towards it, but we can also come down. And it's a real simple thing. In the Chapman Wave methodology, oops, here we go again. I haven't even finished my overview, and here I am in the middle of like a Friday technical analysis. We try to identify the lowest low bar. From that, we count each successively higher peak, and it doesn't matter how much you pull back from each peak as long as you don't take out the starting point. If you take out that starting point by one penny, you've got to restart the count completely. That's number one. Number two is each higher high, it just says it's a higher high. You use other analyses to tell you where it's going. But a higher high means that if A is 20.00, pulls back and doesn't take out the starting point, say 15, and then goes to 20.01, that starts leg B. Leg B contains the letter P, a floating letter, until it makes a peak. Then it becomes a peak. One penny above peak B starts leg C. So I'm saying in the temporary buy signal to buy mode, you go to T's, you should still get a peak C and a peak D in 2022. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. And welcome back. Dow's down uh, 51, 60 uh, at this point. SMB's up 12. That's because of that overnight uh, rally uh, in uh, Google and helping the um, general market. And now, remember, I was saying that in the SP, in the Chapman Wave methodology, a buy signal upgrade to a buy mode, which is in the monthly chart, says that we should go to at least a PC pullback and then go to at least a D. D is your objective. You can go higher, you can start a brand new buy mode. But D is the objective, and that's the, the, that should be in the, I would suggest that in the first half of 2022, we get to at least a C, and we attempt to get to a D. So that was the answer there. In the big term, that's what I'm looking, longer term. Now, D, how important is that fourth highest peak when you've upgraded from a buy signal to a buy mode? Here's the one-minute ES Mini, up 18 at 45.53. Look how important the different techniques that I've developed over the years, and I know that many subscribers subscribe to. That's what they're using as well. Here's your D. Where is it at in the one-minute chart? Right at the 200-period exponential moving average, and it goes three times to that level, breaks out once for the leg D, turns into a peak D. Remember, one penny, or in this case, quarter point, below the previous high in the bar of leg D makes a peak D and uh, pulls back where it pulls above the, the recent high of 45, 45. But wait a minute. We've got a peak C1, C2 back at about 3 a.m. this morning. And then at 4 o'clock, you start a brand new buy mode um, in the 10-minute chart. And it takes all the way to 8 o'clock to... Um, yeah, to make a peak D at 45.80, round number high, right there. And that was at 7 o'clock, I think it was, 8 o'clock exactly. 8 o'clock pulls back very sharply, and that's where the one minute comes in. So I'm alternating it, you can call it between a, a daily and a, and, a, and a monthly, just because the weekly would be, the say, the um, two or the five-minute chart. So in the meantime, back in the ranch, I just wanted to show you that quickly. What's the, what's the genesis of the of the uh, Chapman methodology? Now let's look at this uh, leg to the upside in the S and P where it's up 18. You see the MACD has crossed positive. That means the little histogram, the the, the vertical lines here, have gone above the zero percent line, up 5.95. That's a good sign, and that says that I can now say 
that there's a buy signal in place. I'm close to getting a buy mode. I prefer that buy mode to actually come in when the S when the stochastic when the daily chart, in this case because we're talking about a daily chart, uh, is up near the 68, 73% level, really close to 80%, which I consider imperative for uh, um, a buy mode to hold. And here's the Chapman wave falling X formation on the S&P. There it is. Make it as simple as possible. And it says over the coming three, three to four sessions, there should be an, an attempt to get to this trend line at 46.15. We're at 45.61. 46.15, that's 50 points, that's 500 Dow points. I say attempt because we don't know. And if you're looking at the 120-minute chart, look at this, 120-minute chart is in, uh, let me open this up so that we're looking at the lowest low bar. Look, peak A, peak B, peak C, pulls back, peak D, and this is leg E and stops where? I didn't know this. I just saw it for you, like you, for the very first time right here. Where is it stalling? It's stalling at peak A, peak B, peak C, pulls back, doesn't take out the left side low, so C is still a valid. This is all peak C underneath here, and then it goes to D right there, it's almost like a chap wave instant restart because within two, within three bars, it makes a new recovery high. But I'm going to call this E for now just to be as conservative as possible. Put in a, a little uh, um, plus sign above it to say be careful. Right at the 200 period moving average, that's where we're stalling. That says you could have resistance here. It could pull back, it could come back, it could go above. But this level of 45, I'll give you the exact number right now, 45. 67.75, that's your magnet right now in the S&P 120-minute chart. Let's see if we can do the same thing in the QQQ. The QQQ is trading at uh, 367.38, up $1.80 in leg B, way under the 50-period moving average, underneath the left side, highs of 372.73. Uh, so this is stalling. And now what do you get in the 120-minute chart? Look, bottom, I don't have to think about whether this is the low. It is the low. I can put an up arrow immediately. Normally, I put a plus sign and then upgrade that plus sign to an, an up arrow. Here we go, A. This is also an A underneath. Your objective in the chap wave is to count each a higher high or lower low. It's that's your objective. And there we are, B. Pulls back again. That's an A. That's an A right there. And then once you take out that B, you start leg C. So here we are in C, goes to a peak C, and it's a leg D. The resistance now is 374.17 in the QQQ, the 200 period moving average. We're at 367, seven points below that. So this is where you start to see a little bit of digestive phase. And not only that, the stochastic is flat at 96% in the 120 minute chart. That's exactly what you want in a buy mode. Um, and that's what you've got. MACD is good. Nine's way above the 14. So, so far, the QQQs are having a decent rally. Uh, there's something I'll talk about in a moment, but I'm not going to do it right now. You've got the IWM, the Russell 2000 pulling back right at the 14 period moving average. Now, sitting on the nine, this is really terrible action. But the rectangle formation says that at some point, the um, Russell 2000 IWM, small caps, should try for the 209, the bottom, the base of that very long rectangle that went for, it's going to be almost a year, March of last year, March the 19th, we go to 234, and then uh, beginning of April, we go all the way down to 208. So this is really saying, uh, stuck in a range, I have got a peak D in the weekly chart with an A to B equals C to D in the uh, weekly chart. Technicals are very poor, and the Russell 2000 monthly chart is trading at... Um, in, the, in the monthly chart, you've got peak D. This is the third month that's below the all-time high of 244, I think it was. Yep, 244.46, the week of November the 8th. And in the 120-minute chart, you've got peak A. This is almost turning into a Friday session with technical analysis. I want you to do this because it's such an important phase we're at. Right at this very moment, I got this. Here we go. 
Yeah, IWM PD, stalling out of PD. Uh, now I forget all that stuff. Let's just go to crude oil. Crude oil, of course, there's a whole bunch of discussion now. There's a, 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 the speaker's going to be opened a little bit. I'd say that I thought they'd be getting very close to some kind of a pullback. 87.86 down, a whopping 34 cents. Wow, that a recovery high, way above the 85.65 continuous contract high of October 2018. We went all the way to today's high of 89.72. Uh, this is where I start to say, now you've got to be a little careful. You've got CVX. The multinationals have been absolutely on a tear. Still hasn't broken above the 137 all-time high uh, of, a, of less than a week ago. Um, Exxon had fantastic everything, and it is trading now in a leg. Well, there could be a G-B uh, recovery high yesterday, and today it's at uh, 79.47. Just a bit of a pullback. Uh, this is going to be an interesting thing. If uh, oil pulls back a little bit, you've also got natural gas on it there to the upside. Nice move up at 5.33. I'll be right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. A bunch of questions. Let me just get to them right now. So my answer to the question about the, uh, is this a bounce? Yes, I consider this a bounce that has more upside potential. But at the same time, I think we're going to go to an arch formation, pull back maybe halfway into the arch, and then make a second arch for an M-shaped pattern. And then comes the big test. Does it take out the left side low? In the, and I'm talking about the Dow for the moment. Or does it break to the upside? And that really pertains to 
how this week's close unfolds. So I have to do it as a process. My bigger thinking is that regardless of what we do on the downside in February, which I think is going to be a consolidation month, starting March, I think March, we should start to move higher and then break to new highs. That's the way I'm looking at it, at least for now. Okay, so I, I, a couple of questions have come in, so but let me deal with it uh, in, in a different way. Um, is, is a GDX time to buy? Well, I think GDX is, is think of it more as a trading um, vehicle. I think that a chunk of the downside just for now in the short term has been down. Look, he has this rising trend line, the Chapman Wave inside track propellant zone. It's working right now. I would, I would just say to you that gold, this big move down from the 18, almost 1860 level and the continuous contract down to almost 1780 has, has done a chunk of, of consolidating. You saw that in many of the gold stocks. Now I think what we're looking at is that the trading range the bottom of the trading range is kind of being established just for the moment because 1780 is key support. But now we can start moving up towards the 1820s, maybe even the 1830s, and then get stuck again. That's kind of the way I'm looking at gold right now. Silver and gold at this moment is up 6 at 1807, continuous contract. Silver is up 0.06 at 22.65. Uh, it's not as, it, not as good a pattern. It's closer to the lower range. I think it could be stuck. Uh, with the testing of the 20, 2020s and a lot of resistance to 2350s. Although if it breaks above 2360, I would say that's actually very good action. I just don't know if it's going to happen right now. A dollar, dollar pullback. Very, everything about it, I said, from the moment it happened, I said, you know, everything about this looks like that is a peak D, not a C. And everything I do in the count says it is a C. But pulling back as sharp as this says, you know what? You made a lower low than that former peak D way back in November of 20, uh, 2021 uh, at 96.94. Yes, you pulled back to the 94.60s. Going back to 97.44 with a new recovery high, I have to call it a C and say it's going to be a miss. But the weekly chart is, is in a D and the monthly chart is in a C. So now I think the dollar is saying I'm stuck in a range. 95.50s is going to be support. 96.70s is going to be yeah, 9670 is going to be strong resistance. Uh, let's go on to the TLT. Very important here. TLT uh, trading up finally up a dollar fourteen at one sneeze. <coughs> I don't sneeze. I don't think I remember sneezing during the day, except in the show. 142.86. <clears throat> is just above the 14 period. Thank you, thank you. Uh, uh, just above the 14 period. Moving average. We stuck in a range here at the TLT. That's the same thing in yields. Yields are stuck in a range at the higher end, bonds in the lower end. If the TLT at any point in the next, from today, Wednesday into next Wednesday, a good part of February being covered, suddenly starts to trade above 146. 80. Let's call it this 147. I don't care what the reason is. If it starts to go above 147, that's going to be very important because two things are happening. You see the XLF? It's moving up. It's made a nice leg B, a great leg B, because I haven't got a confirmation here with the stochastic at 45%. This is just a bounce. Um, this is the S&P financials. It should have been helped a lot more with the, with the higher yields and the lower bonds. It's helped, but not much. And here again, I think my eye says that we are stuck in a trading range in the XLF. So as long as we've got trading ranges without breaking the bottom, in this case, you'd have to go below 36 and you're at 39, 36 uh, in the XLF. That's going to be important. Yeah, I'm, I'm covering it as part of yields. Now the next thing we've got to look at, and this is going to be really important, is within the context of uh, the overall market. So we've got crude oil saying, yep, we can have a bit of a digestive phase. Doesn't have to be a huge pullback. Let's face it, um, having hit 89.72 in the continuous contract, a pullback under the uh, into, into the low 80s, a 10% pullback, it's gone from a low of 65 just uh, on the 20th of January to uh, 20. 30 points, almost a 30% gain. This is huge. I don't know why the media is not making a big deal about it. It's not. And this is this is both political and economic and pragmatic. And it says 
we have cut our sources and resources um, towards having some independence. Crude oil now is in play. It's in play for the rest of the year. In fact, probably for the next couple of years. I, I, what can I say? That's just the way it is. Uh, let's go on. I want you to, okay, I'll, I covered all that. Now, now, now I need to do this. I had a question about CF. CF is some, uh, this is a stock that we've had. <clears throat> the CF industry is holding companies, hydrogen, nitrogen products for clean energy, fertilizer, emissions, abatement. I, I love the stock. We were in it and we just got stopped out and I have not gotten back in. Uh, we were in from in the 67s, just under 68. And here it is at 73.53. And the question is, it's in, it's going to leg D in the week. Was that the question here? Uh, CF Industries? Yeah, I think that was the question. I, it was yesterday and I just, I don't have it right in front of me. But I've got this as most likely a leg B. In the daily chart, I like this. So I would say, lighten me up. You did lighten up a little. I wouldn't do any more lightening up. I like the stock. Any pull back towards the 72s, I'd put back the little bit that you lightened up. Only reason being, even though um, the high was 74, 77 back on the 28th of December, and the high yesterday was 74.73, it's had four cents to go, and it would have made a leg, uh, an, a leg extension, leg D. I like this. I think this is in the area that's favorable. And on the short term, that's what I would do. It add a little bit. Looking out, I don't disagree that there should be a pullback at some point with the whole energy sector, XLE. I don't think this is part of the XLE. But look, the XLE is also in leg C in the daily. Yep, I could have an alternate account. I don't want to get fussy and fancy. I'm calling this a leg C, a leg E in the weekly chart, the XLE. It's a leg D and it's probably making a peak D in the daily. So, yeah, we could be near to some kind of a digestive phase. But I have to tell you that energy sector... So far, it's acting really well. 67.22, <clears throat> and the weekly chart, stochastic flat at 89%, 90 good. Uh, the monthly chart flat, 90%, stochastic. Man, I think this is in play. So here we go. That was the one question. So CF, uh, CF. Next thing I want to do. Where did I go? Where did I go? There we go. Uh, can you please look at Facebook and Qualcomm? Facebook. I still call it Facebook. Uh, even though it's supposed to be meta, meta platforms it's in leg leg B, gray leg B, because it just magnet just turned positive. Stochastic is still weak at 46%. It's gone above the Chapway falling exclamation resistance. It's stalled at the 250 period moving average. It's down. It's up three at 322.28. So I'll read the question. It's a good question. I think a lot of people actually have the same question. And Qualcomm will do the two together as soon as I get back. Welcome to having a beautiful surge. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. Pedro White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. Let's do this. I don't want to run out of time. Just a, a ton of questions. Yeah, we go. So, uh, Qualcomm, first I'll do Qualcomm. Uh, this is the one that's just up at the moment. So, Qualcomm is just testing right now the Chatham Wave inside track repellent zone. That's also the falling axe formation. So, the question is you know, I don't do this anymore. Years ago, I did this. And also, I had a particular person who used to just trade options on the, 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 um, the results of major companies as they earned. And he had a really good track record, except when he missed. You just he just blew up, and I I I would help him. I'd look at these things together, and once in a while for subscribers we'd have that, and then I just decide, you know, for the for the split second of the earnings report, I'm going to sacrifice or I'm going to make a ton. Why do it when you work so hard? Just to looks like it's like gambling, putting on red instead of black or whatever it is. Uh, so I I don't do that anymore. So what I am going to say is this. Um, so the question is, let me go back because a couple of questions, almost the same question, but with different stocks. So now I've lost it. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, can you please look at Facebook and Qualcomm? Earnings are after hours, and I want to know if you think the stocks have risen too far from the bottom to make the risk reward worth trying to put long trades on. Thanks, Eddie. So, Eddie, what I'm going to say is this. Qualcomm has had a fantastic gap up today. It's up 7.74 at 184.90. I would rather look at Qualcomm as a design manufacturing semi, semis, wireless communications. I'd rather look at Qualcomm as a chart pattern and say it's going right back into the middle of its last trading range. It's just a little bit above. And I would put on rather... Wait a day or two. If you miss it, you miss it. But to risk going in at 185 and to have it suddenly turned down, and I'm not sure if it, if the earnings are after hours, why is it gapping up like this? Wow, if those earnings after hours are not quite what they want, you can see this gap being filled. Why not wait a day or two? If you're looking to put on a longer-term trade, I like Qualcomm's action. I think it's very good. The monthly chart is saying I'm stuck in the higher range. I'm holding well. I'm not breaking down. Uh, it would have been if it was down seven points from yesterday's nice move into the 175-6 area, and now it was down into the 165, I'd say I would wait completely. But this is good action. So why don't you wait for a pullback if it holds and the general market comes with the Dow's now up 22 after being down 60 or something. S&P's up 20. I like this. I like the action that we're looking at right now. So why don't you hold off a minute? Or the other thing to do is you could just nibble here at 185. Nibbling says if it gaps up another 10 points, it's part of the process. Um, now you have to add. At least you're in it. And if it gaps down, it says, all right, now I can do my assessment. Personally, I just hold off. That's number one. But Amazon is a little different. Amazon says uh, that uh, 
this is part of the infrastructure of sales. So I'm looking at the, the, the uh, Fang type stocks. So this one is a little different. I think Fang. I think Amazon is in a different place. I think it's going to do a lot more testing of the 2800s. Will there be a stock split? I suspect at some point, 3000. I think this is the year, going to be the year of the stock split. Now, Facebook is in a different area completely. Um, meta, meta, meta platforms. Uh, it's at the 200 period moving average. I actually don't care what the results are. My eye is suggesting that Apple's going to be in a trading range between 340 and 300 for a little while longer. So I don't think looking out that I would be wanting to get into Facebook at this particular point. I'd much rather let this digestive phase unfold and then look at it. So I'm really not the person going to give you the, the right answer at this particular point because I'm saying I personally would hold off the moment. But because of the earnings, you just don't know what's going to happen. How does the market respond? One bad word all of a sudden comes down or, or like um, a goog. Uh, look at this, Google. Where is it now? It's holding. Yep, it's up 181. It's given back from 3,042. It's now up. Uh, it's it's 100 points low. It's more than 100 points lower than the high of the day. This is a difficult market to be doing anything but treat it as a bounce. That's really important with some stocks showing their 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 true colors right now, and others saying, well. We, we gave you a fake out, and we're not going to continue doing that. Um, Tim wants to know about, is that, no, Jane. Oh, wait a minute. Hi, Basil. Uh, if you have a chance, could you look at CDNS? CDNS. And yes, in the uh, Tiger YouTube, I will I will look at SIG uh, in a moment, CIG. So uh, CDNS is Cadence Design Systems, Electrical Systems, and Semis for End Products. You see, this is the kind of pattern that says to me, it needs a lot more work. It's trading at 151, um, up 0.06. I think there were earnings or his earnings coming out, but whatever it is, it's made a peak E top in the weekly, a peak E in the monthly. And I just think this, I'm, I'm beginning to think that the whole semiconductor area, the digestive phase that I've been talking about, is actually going to last a little longer. So um, this is in that kind of area. So let's see, the question is, I am in since yesterday. Just want to know if I should get out now. Thank you. I have Oh, you have options. You know what? I, the way it's acting right now, just down 15 cents. Take a little bit off your options, just a little bit. I, I'm suspecting you have call options. You didn't say long or short. Um, I have it since yesterday. If you have it in since yesterday, I still don't know because it's kind of in the same range. Look, let me just say, I think there's a room for a cadence design to move a little bit higher, but I the the 156 is the 200 period exponential moving average. That was the gap down, low a, a gap down become huge resistance. I don't think it's today would have been the test, and it's not gone above a 150. 291, if it was at right now at 153.60s, I say, wow, it's going to be a quick run to the 156 area. At this point, I think it's just stuck. So take a little bit off. And on the chart itself, let me just do this for you because you're talking about options and you're talking about real quick trades. Let's go to CDNS. Uh, and the, <laughs> look, even in the, um, even in the 10 minute chart, it's not giving any clues because it's stuck in a rectangle formation. Rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience. How do you play this now? Because I can see you, you either want to say it's going to break out one way or the other, and then you'll hold it. Or if it's stuck in the range, you're going to say, well, it's just wasted money if it just goes sideways. Um, yes. I, I think I've got a, a sense now that I'm looking at. I suspect the market's going to recover a little later today. Um, I think it's still going to be a, a, a digestive phase, and it's tomorrow that you're going to see the bigger move. If you are able to take a little bit off to make some money right now and then use that money for a break-even trade, I'm not sure whether you're long or short, but I'm going to give you both sides of the story. If a Cadence Design is able A, peak A, peak B, a, B under it, C, D. That's already made a D in the 10 minute chart. If Cadence Design is able at by one, that's already too late. No, no, that's fine. By 1.25 this afternoon, if Cadence Design has pushed above 
one the three forty five. 153.45 is about a point and a half from here. The long side is the way to be on the, on, on the options. And I would hold it and I've been eating my stick a little bit off right now. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. I've also um, a Netflix question about net does it go down to the 427? It's a 436 level. It could. But the technicals are just starting to improve and it's starting to fill the gap. That's really important with Netflix. I suspect by Friday or Monday, it will be testing the 453 area, somewhere somewhere like that. Uh, LUV uh, question, uh, LUV, what was the question? Start a position in LUV. Um, you know, this is part of Jets. I would just give give it another day. I'm just going to say, let's, uh, I'll spend time on the airlines tomorrow. But at 43.86, it's just kind of stuck in a range. I don't know if this is the best one. So let me just do a little bit more work on that. I don't want to give you just a snapshot answer. SMHs, the SMHs, uh, Nick wants to know. Whoops, SMH. I think I did the SMH. Didn't I do the SMH? Maybe not. Uh, SMH, let's just do this real quickly. Yeah, this is a nice move up in leg A. I still think that overall the SMHs are going to start to fail in a little bit. But absolutely, 281. Uh, um, no, I can't, I'll do that tomorrow. I can't do it now. I don't have time to do an overview. I did it yesterday. So tomorrow, the, I think the SMHs have a little bit more to room to, to run. And then I think we're going to watch the stalling. The CIG is... Now, if I can say the name, CIG is um, uh, Comp and Minas Gerais. 
Semming, something like that. Sorry, I can't see it if I could see it. It made a peak D. And the question is, uh, what about it? I'm just going to say um, CEG to buy. I like the action, but I would call it, it's a 2.50. I'd rather wait for 2.44. Ask me again tomorrow. If it's coming near the 2.44 area, I think it has a chance. Oh, that's a Brazil telephone, maybe. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, I'll do that tomorrow. Uh, anything else? It's just, yeah, I got a couple here. There's an investment. Oh, we're out of time. What was that? Yep, I did that. Oh, Amazon. Amazon with earnings coming out. Not just do Amazon. I think Amazon could pop, but I look careful. I think Amazon's got a bit of a problem here on the top. This is what uh, Dow's out. Uh, Thank you for some as soon as I'm done. Okay.